Hello everyone and welcome to Cable 14's Generation Z. I'm your host Amanda Pope. So my question for you is how is your business going? Have you been seeing progress? Have you been taking the advice from our experts? I really hope that you're finding all the advice from our incredible youth entrepreneurs from Hamilton and all of the awesome professional testimonies and the tips and techniques from all the awesome experts in Hamilton. I even find for myself I've been learning so much great tips and techniques over and over again and it's so great to just add those to your business because that's when you're gonna see the progress in your business. So so far we've learned three of the techniques and the keys to success for successfully starting and growing your own business. And today we are going to be learning the fourth key to successfully starting your business. And the fourth key is something that I believe if you you do not utilize this, it's either you're going to not be too successful or if you do use it, you will. And that's getting the word out. It's advertising and marketing. And I believe if you don't advertise and market, how is the community going to know about your business? So today we have a number of great experts to help us learn those keys to successfully advertising and marketing for our business. But first, we're going to start off with Justin, who is the winner of the Judges' Choice Award at the Mighty Pitch Finale back in April of 2015. So thank you so much, Justin, for joining us today. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm great, thank you. So you've had a number of success with your business, and I want to congratulate you because honestly, that's really good, especially for being such a young entrepreneur. So why don't you tell us about that whole process of the Mighty Entrepreneurship Program that you were involved in? So we started uh, the Mighty Entrepreneur Program in summer of 2015. Uh, that's when I started my first business. It was a game development business, and from there we went through the summer and I gradually increased my market size and I moved on from there to uh, my current business which is web development. Oh that's awesome, that's Thank really you. good and did you find that you got a lot of help and mentorship with the Mighty Entrepreneurship Program? Yes, I have one mentor named Lorenzo Soma and he helped me through the whole process. He was there to help me with marketing and advertising my business. So I appreciate that. From yeah, you. exactly. Yeah. And I think that having that mentor by your side through every step of the way is really great. And did he help you a lot with the advertising and marketing? Like, what did he teach you about that? He just taught me the fundamentals of how to put myself out there and how to network with people too, so I could do that for myself. Um, yeah, yeah, and did you find that the advice with the advertising, did you see a lot of success in your business because you knew how to advertise properly? Of course, yes. Uh, he, one of the things he taught me about was niche marketing, and that was the, one of those fundamental um, concepts he taught me. Yeah, and what is niche marketing? I know a lot of people, they've probably heard of the term, but they don't know exactly what it is. So why don't you tell us a little bit about what niche marketing is? Yeah, niche marketing is a very concentrated form of marketing. It's unlike general marketing that targets a large group of people, it, niche marketing targets a very uh, specific segment of the market. Yeah, and from your personal experience, would you say that niche marketing has a lot of benefits? And if so, what are those benefits? Yes, a few of those benefits is that it is there's not as much competition as general marketing. So it's easier, or it's the best way for startup companies to uh, market their business and grow from there. I find with niche marketing, it's great because you have a specific target. Am I correct? Yes. And do you find that it's easier to have a specific target rather than a whole grand scale of people that you're trying to get to? Of course. When you have your uh, target, it's easier to know their needs. It's easier to connect with that small group of people that and it's easier to find a connection between them. Yeah, exactly. And I think that's really great to have a connection. And as we all know, when you have a business, it's very important to develop a relationship and a very good relationship that you can connect with them on a personal basis, not just a business basis, right? Of course, yes. So with niche marketing, what advice would you give to startup companies about finding their niche? Um, 
If you want to be a successful entrepreneur in today's ever-changing market, you need to learn how to be adaptable. Mm -hmm. be if you can't adapt to your niche or you're putting too much expectation on like one product or service, you're not going to succeed. It's putting all your eggs in one basket, so to speak. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah, and yeah. I, I agree with you with putting all your eggs in one basket, right? That's yeah. a really good <laughs> metaphor to use there because I find when you're niche marketing, you need to remember and take into consideration where is your niche, right? Yes. Because I've heard of the example, you need to find your target customer. And for example, if you're selling children's toys, you're not going to sell those children's toys at a department store for a teenager yeah. because that's not where your niche is. You're not going to find several children under the age of six years old at a store for 18 year olds right yeah one of the most common mistakes is obviously not marketing where your target audience is uh, second would be that realizing that there's more than one um, competitor in your niche market um, unless you created something completely original there's always going to be someone taking a market share in your niche so you need to do your due diligence and figure out how you can differentiate your business from theirs. Exactly. And what would you say for your business, Fire Mood, what would you say your niche market is? Our niche market is uh, startup businesses and small companies that are looking for a website and branding. Mm -hmm. So in branding. And with your business with branding, how do you help people to brand with their business? We collaborate on their ideas and our own ideas and we try to come on like a common ground and see what style they want and what design they want in the end. We have multiple versions of the, th of the draft and they pick the final one. We help them. That's every great. step of the way. That's really good and I like how that you help them every step of the way. Just how you learned with Mighty Entrepreneurship Program and the Ontario Summer Company Program, the mentorship is great. So would you say that's something that makes you stand out from your competitors is that you have that one-on-one -on -one mentorship for advertising and marketing for other people's businesses? Yeah, that's one of the main uh, Factors, yes. Yeah, and what's the process for the mentorship that you provide for your customers? Uh, we sit them down and we just talk about what they plan to gain through this branding and we try to help them create that vision that they have. That's good and it's really great to create a vision, am I correct? Yes, of course. Because I find if you don't have a vision, your business isn't going to go anywhere, right? Right. So that's what you help with is creating the vision and everything. So yeah. that's really good and have you been seeing a lot of success in your customers' businesses so far? Yeah, so yeah, um, mainly because of that one-on-one -on -one, um, like conversation yes. we have, it, they the our, our main customers they enjoy the fact that we can have a conversation with them and they're not dealing with like a huge faceless corporation. Yeah, that they can be part involved in the the process mm -hmm. of making their site. Yes, and for today's key to successfully starting your own business, it's getting the word out. And we know how important advertising and marketing is. So what advice would you give to a startup entrepreneur about getting the word out in advertising? Um, just don't be scared. And like my mentor said, the worst thing they can say is no. Mm -hmm. So always do your best, always network, always get yourself out there. And you can only be successful from there. There's no alternative path. Yes, and that is very, very true. And thank you so much for taking the time to come out today on Cable 14's Generation Z. Thank I you. Really it was my pleasure. Oh, no problem at all. I really do believe that the advice about niche marketing and getting the word out is going to help a lot of startup companies, but not only startup companies, as we know, growing businesses, because it's always great to be consistent with your advertising. So for more information, if you'd like to find out more about Fire Mood, you can check out their website. They have their phone number and their email as well and you should give them a call at 905-977-9754 if you would like some more information about fire mood so I definitely would recommend that you stay with us because after the break we are going to be learning about your creative advertising strategy and if you want to be successful with your business it's crucial for you to have an advertising strategy so stick with us